you have to understand anxiety and, and fear and how to overcome it if you're going to be a good wrestler. When an animal is getting chased, imagine a lion chasing a gazelle. You guys have all seen that, right? The way they behave when they're being chased is I'm going to die, right? I'm, something is trying to eat me. I'm going to either fight that animal or I'm going to run. It's called fight or flight. Those butterflies, those feelings that you get in your stomach, th that is, that's evolutionary. That's your body that, that has taken a long, long time. Okay, again, I don't, I don't want to get political. Thousands, millions of years, whatever you believe, it's taken a very, very long time for your body to develop that. And the reason that it's there is because when your brain tells your subconscious, hey, there is a threat in front of me, I have to either fight it or I have to run because I'm going to die. You have to make a choice really quick. In a wrestling, you see that in front of you and it's a perceived threat. That means it's not necessarily a threat. It's your, you think it might be. And your brain doesn't know the difference. So it puts that, it, that switch, it flips the switch and it goes into fight or flight mode, okay? When you understand what your body's doing, it changes everything. When you don't understand what that feeling is, it is scary. You don't want to fight, which is what wrestling requires you to do. You want to run. That's what you want to do. There's two options. Your brain has evolved. Fight or flight. That means run. And a lot of times, wrestlers quit the sport because they don't, they don't like it. It's scary. It's not a fun place to be. And as an adult, it might not be a wrestling match, but... I face it all the time, and I've had to overcome it. But as it pertains to wrestling, it's very important to understand your body is just gearing up for battle. That is it. It's nothing to be afraid of. So when you start feeling that in your body before a match, it's supposed to happen, okay? It's good that it's happening. If you don't feel that, you should check your pulse because you might not be breathing. It just happens. I'm not even wrestling anymore. And my heart rate goes through the roof before your guys' matches, before my kids' state finals matches. I had to literally put my head down and do breathing exercises just to get my stuff together yesterday. It's part of it. But the best athletes, the best wrestlers, the best people in life that succeed, they know how to take that anxiety, that fear, and not run from it, and battle it, and fight, okay? The gazelle can't fight a lion. They don't have the tools to do it. So they have to run, right? A great white shark, apex predator in the ocean, again, taking millions and millions of years to evolve. Not, that means nothing can kill it, nothing eats it. It's at the top, it's an apex predator, all right? It smells blood from miles away. It has a protective layer over its eyes so that when it goes to eat something or bite something, it protects its eyes. Its teeth jut forward. They have thousands of teeth and they replace them all the time. They're streamlined for speed and strength. They are the absolute best at what they do, killing things. They don't run from anybody. So, in wrestling, you have to you have to have that mindset. If a shark stops swimming, it dies. So, movement is key. And that's why I love it with wrestling so much. And I wore this shirt because this go, was uh, go, the, the uh, business that I had with my father um, yes. before he passed away. And it, it was all, that's why this is tattooed on me. He drew this with his hand. This was about moving forward, always moving forward. No matter how tough it gets, you have to move forward. Okay, you have to keep breathing or you'll, you'll, you'll die. So, in wrestling, I want you to not be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. The absolute worst that can happen is that you lose a match. You might get hurt, maybe, but if that's what you're afraid of, then, you, then, then don't play outside. Wrap yourself in bubble. Don't play with your friends in the backyard. Don't play pickup games of basketball. Don't rollerblade. Just don't go anywhere.
Just hide in your room. So don't be afraid of that. If you're afraid of, of losing, forget that. Because if you're afraid of losing, you'll never do anything great in your life. Fear of failure is one of the biggest things that keeps people from chasing their dreams. Do not be afraid of failure. Fail. Embrace failure. There is no other way out. The only way David once date yesterday was failure after failure after failure after failure. And, and being above the line, being purposeful, being intentional, not focusing on the refs. What did I do in that match? You gotta score more points than the ref, period. If you're keeping it to one or two points, it's not good enough. You have to at least be one to two scores buffer so that if a ref makes a, a call that's not in your favor, it doesn't matter. Most fear and anxiety comes from worried about things you cannot control. People, like in the United States, millions and millions of people worry about things they can't control. The weather. Oh my gosh, is it going to rain? Is it going to rain on Wednesday? What am I going to do? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pull, I'm going to have to mow the yard Sunday before it rains. I'm going to have to make sure that uh, I can't wash my car because if I wash my car then, and it rains, it'll just get all streaky and muddy again. Um, it, again, you, they can't control that. Can't control the weather. So think about that when you're worrying about something. Is it, is it something you can't control? And if it's not, focus on what you can control. And if you're feeling nervous before a match, what can I control, right? What can I control? The mindset that you have going into districts is everything, okay? It literally is just another tournament. Just because you put the word districts in front of it, it does not mean anything else. All it means is to go to state, you have to get through districts. That's it. There's no pressure, zero. If you don't get through districts, oh well. The world will keep turning and spinning, all right? But man, when it does all work out, there is nothing like it in this world. Hey, stay hard on three. One, two, three, stay hard!